our minds can feel jumpy, always hopping between different thoughts and distractions. Have you ever wondered why this happens? Exploring this constant mental chatter is like taking a trip to learn more about ourselves. Why does our mind keep chattering without a break from its own problems? This non-stop talking in our heads, our stream of thoughts, comes from how we were raised, the society we live in, our schooling, and the way society influences how our minds work. But let's not hurry to try to control the unruly chatter in our minds, because doing that might actually make it stronger. The person trying to control the chatter gets stuck in the web of thoughts, and this understanding brings a certain kind of beauty. Instead of trying to stop the chatter, try focusing on it. Look at it directly, observe it with a clear mind, and something interesting might happen. Let the chatter be there without trying hard to stop it. When you pay attention like this, you might see something amazing happen. The mind, free from the fight for control, becomes clear like a beautiful lake reflecting the calmness of the sky. This clarity could be what's usual for a balanced and healthy person. By being fully aware in this way, we might explore deeper parts of ourselves and gain a better understanding. When you pay close attention like this, you might discover a source of wisdom that reveals the secrets of your own thoughts. Think about how easily you can watch a cloud moving in the sky, a tree swaying, or a river flowing gently. These things outside of yourself don't ask much from you, so your mind stays quite calm. But looking inside yourself to observe your thoughts and feelings is much more complex. It brings up practical challenges and quick reactions like fear, sadness, feeling alone, envy, or other not-so-nice mental states. Can you calm your mind enough to really understand these inner struggles? As we explore ourselves, we come across the mysterious idea of the ego. This ego is a complex thing inside us that shows itself in how we relate to others, what we do every day, the opinions we form, the judgments we make about people, and even when we criticize ourselves. Picture this, the ego is like a covering that hides who we truly are. It's made up of how society sees us, the things we've been through, and how we've been taught to think. As we go through life, this ego quietly hides our real selves, keeping our natural wisdom and true selves out of sight. To start this journey of change, we need to understand ourselves better. This means looking inside ourselves and exploring our inner world. As we become more aware of who we are, we learn a lot about what we want, what scares us, and what we dream about. Knowing ourselves is like a light that helps us see the parts of our mind we don't usually notice, guiding us to our true selves. With this self-understanding, we begin to observe our thoughts, feelings, and how we react to things with an open mind. Rather than getting swept up in our constant inner talk, we become careful watchers of our own thoughts and feelings. When we take on this role of an observer, we free ourselves from getting caught up in the ongoing play of our thoughts and emotions. This clearer view helps us see that many of our pursuits are driven by our ego, which isn't always what's most real or important. By observing without getting too involved, we start to weaken the hold of the ego, allowing our true selves to come forward. As we start to let go of the ego, we start seeing how everything is connected, and we embrace the vastness of life. All the ways we've been taught to think show how complicated our existence is. So, isn't it important to be aware of this whole process? If being aware of yourself is tough, try this helpful activity. Write down every thought and feeling you have during your day. Capture moments when you feel jealous, proud, attracted to something, or the reasons behind what you say. Then, at the end of your day, look back at what you've written without judging yourself. By doing this, you start to uncover why you think, feel, want things, and say what you do. It's really important to look at your notes with an open and fair mind during this process. As you dive into this practice, you'll start to understand yourself better, shining a light on your inner feelings and thoughts. With this self-awareness and understanding, you begin to see why conflicts arise and, over time, resolve them. When you journey into exploring yourself, a quiet awakening happens inside you. It catches your attention and encourages you to keep exploring the deep mysteries inside you. Keep a habit of writing down your thoughts, emotions, intentions, and reactions consistently. 
not just for a day or two, but for a good number of days until you can easily notice them as they happen. You know, meditation isn't just about understanding yourself, it's also about breaking free from the grip of your ego continuously. When you reach a state of clear thinking, meditation flourishes, bringing calmness and understanding where the most important truths become clearer. By jotting down your inner experiences, your thoughts, emotions, wants and reactions, you build an awareness that connects your conscious and unconscious minds, creating harmony between them. This connection helps you gain a deep understanding. As you reflect on yourself, a crucial question emerges. How far can the mind explore its own depths? The real truth, my friend, is found in a mind that stands completely on its own, free from any fixed ideas. It's a vast truth that doesn't come from theories or strict beliefs, but is only seen by a mind that knows itself well. Looking for real peace, the true calmness of the mind, isn't about chasing something outside of ourselves, but in truly knowing how our own mind works. Understanding ourselves doesn't mean just collecting facts about who we are, it's about paying close attention. Simply gathering information doesn't really help us learn. When we aim to understand ourselves deeply in our daily lives, we don't necessarily need someone outside ourselves, like a guru or a strict authority, to show us the way. What we can do ourselves is practice observing, being fully aware of what we do and think and the hidden reasons behind our actions. Discovering inner wisdom comes from understanding oneself deeply. Therefore, welcome self-awareness as ignorance thrives when we don't truly know ourselves. To really understand who we are, we need to get good at looking inside ourselves, seeing ourselves just as we are, without trying to change anything. Observe without blaming, judging or comparing, because in that clear and simple observation, there's deep beauty and understanding. Let your perception be open without feeling the weight of making a choice, without separating yourself as the one watching and the thing being watched. When you observe without this division, something amazing happens, conflict disappears. In this complete way of observing, where there's no separation between you and what you're observing, there's no space for conflict to happen. The one looking becomes one with what's being looked at, giving a deep understanding of yourself and the world around you. Deep wisdom and a stronger connection with the essence of life can be found within understanding ourselves. To really grasp who we are requires a lot. Being very smart, staying watchful all the time, having sharp thinking, and never stopping observing so we can really understand this tricky thing called the self. We have to honestly look at what we truly are without trying to avoid it. Don't put names or labels on what you see, just see it as it is. In this way of looking, find the drive and energy needed to explore self-awareness deeply. By looking closely at this, a remarkable change happens and we start to truly understand ourselves. When you keep watching and understanding your thoughts and feelings every moment, every day, it's important not to feel like you have to change or put them in categories. This way of observing yourself without feeling the need to change what's happening leads to a big change and a closer connection with reality. This way of looking at yourself really helps solve inner conflicts and makes it easier to get along with your true self. When we become impartial observers of what's happening inside us, we start to watch the show going on in our minds. In this role, we stop wanting to control or decide whether what's happening is good or bad. Instead, we accept every thought, feeling, and sensation just as they are, without trying to change them. This way of watching without taking sides shows us something important. Our real selves are revealed without any masks or changes. This way of watching without taking sides shows us something important. Our real selves are revealed without any masks or changes. When you let go of trying to change what you see inside yourself, you let your true self unfold naturally without the ego getting in the way. As you get more involved in this mindful way of being, something amazing happens. The inner conflicts that used to bother you start to fade away. You start feeling deeply peaceful as who you truly are matches up with the essence of life. As you observe yourself more deeply, your sense of who you are starts to include more of the world around you. 
Each time you pay close attention to yourself, you start getting rid of the things that make you feel out of sync with your true self. Instead of wanting to change things, you start appreciating how things are, which helps you grow and understand yourself better. As you keep looking inside, your inner conflicts start disappearing, just like snowflakes melting in the warm sun. The peace between you, observing yourself, and what you observe brings a deep calmness to everything you are. This understanding might just hold the answers to the challenges we face in life. As you start exploring more about yourself, notice how your understanding grows, your thoughts get deeper, and the secrets of who you are start to become clearer. Let this journey spark your curiosity, because it has the potential to reveal important truths and insights that have been waiting inside you. So, dear friend, if this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your loved ones who might benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and experiences. Thanks for watching and joining me. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye.